Yeah. See these big ass rocks? Down here in Florida. Don't nobody know Rick Ross. He ain't even from Florida. Ain't that right? William using Rick Ross, a real gangster's name, to get on. You know you stole those raps out of an inmate cell, a folk nigga's raps. Cause you don't know nothing about King Larry Hoover. You ain't a part of 274, 974, 774, 074, any branch of gangster disciples. You know, I can scream out Cali code. I can tell you everything about blood. Blood in, blood out. It don't matter any set. I know all, every bit of gang information about every set. No matter if it's blood, crip, folk, vice lord. You a fake, man. You know what, Officer Ricky? He was a correctional officer in Miami. Just like them bitch-ass officers that took my shit, strapped me to a bed, chained me to a bed, using your riot shields with electric shockers and your big old mace guns, jumping on me, saying I got contraband in my cell that's books written and songs written and taking them, you know, and, and using it as your own. That's what you done, Rick Ross. Now you sign some homeless dude, because I get at y'all, name unknown. Unknown and unspoken, and Novocaine and me formed a group called the Entrepreneurs. Unknown and unspoken was Reggie Moore, uh, was was William Reynolds, Albert C. Graves, and Novocaine was Reggie Morton. Rest in peace, Alibi. Rest in peace. Just like I saw it, I was CEO of Entrepreneurs. So quit using people's name, you fake ass rapper. You don't even know nothing about the life, man. You ain't never trapped before. You ain't never tote no gat. You ain't never sold no crack. You ain't never bust no strap. You just a fake ass rapper, Rick Ross. Now, ain't that something? Let me show you how it's done out here in the world now. Now, the thing is, they house me beside a man that's a gang member. Shot a dude in his head and his back. He get less time than I do. They don't even catch me with a gram of cocaine. And they charge me with conspiracy to trafficking and transporting cocaine. Now, the thing is, they ain't catch me no drug transaction or nothing. And I'm sitting there saying to myself, how the fuck do you fake ass rappers got all this security and rap about all this gangster stuff? How about be a gangster for God? You know what a gangster for God is? That's me building stuff like this down here in Florida. And William, Mr. Officer Ricky, you can't even out-rap Nicky. I like to see you pick up these rocks. When I see you, I'm going to show you how I whoop a six foot seven, 400 pound man and beat the shit out of him on video and knocked his ass out with a one hit a quarter Eastwood nigga wig splitter. Now, while I was housed, chained to a bed for months and months and months through incarceration, chained to a bed with no mattress, butt naked, after your officers steal my shit, well, I was just trying to feed my daughter. Now, the thing is, you got me housed beside a man that chopped up his daughter in little pieces. And y'all acquit the man and let him walk away free. Look how much time y'all give me. And what about the gang member that got way less time than me that shot a man in his head and his back? Where's our American justice system at? Baby, dope boy, money mics and music. The real dirty guns was way before a dirty dozen click. You know how many women I know? How'd you make your story so interesting, Eminem? Could you help me out? Because I know a lot of women your age, old eight mile, that grew up on eight mile, don't even know you. Don't nobody know Lil Wayne in the game. Don't nobody know Officer Ricky. For, that's a correctional officer in Miami in the game. I'm with Fifty Cent. They say I'm like the white Fifty Cent. Y'all motherfuckers can't fuck with me. I'm the best. They call me Besto. See the graffiti art on the trains? Yeah. Find the money train, the money tree. You want to go find the money? Where the money at? God bless America. I love each and every one of you.